Um, I kind of want to talk, Dr. Rich, a, a little bit about the symptoms of head and neck cancer. Sure. I mean, oftentimes when something's wrong with us, we have a sense that that isn't quite right. But what are some things that people should, should be concerned about if, if they notice them? Sure. I'm going to start by clarifying that a lot of the symptoms are also very vague that we all suffer. Okay. And so I'd like to say that the things that we'll talk about, um, usually uh, if they're persisting for more than about two weeks, that's when we should get worried. But um, there's symptoms such as um, trouble eating, um, feeling like there's um, uh, trouble swallowing, or feeling like there's something stuck in the throat. Um, also, voice changes. Um, sometimes uh, patients will feel a, a mass or a lump in the neck, and that's always concerning uh, for an adult. If there's any lumps in the neck, that's something that should not wait, but go straight to uh, a physician. Um, and also, of course, for skin cancer, any, any, any lesions on the, on the skin that aren't going away that are getting larger.